Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss about cumulative distribution function. In our previous class, we clearly discussed about discrete probability function or probability mass function. This is a continuation class. Please watch that class and come back here. These concepts are very, very important to understand for probability distributions. Okay, coming to today's concept, first we will refresh the whatever the example which we discussed in our last class. Just for 30 seconds, we are going to refresh that example. Then along with this example, we will go into the concept of cumulative distribution function. In our last class, we took the example, ex toss three coins. Our random variable is, is taken as x is equal to number of heads. So what are the values that present in our random variable x is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3. What's the meaning of this? 0 heads, it may toss 1 head, 2 heads or 3 heads. These are the values that are available in our random variable x. And f of x is a function that is going to provide the probability values for our random variable x. Means if you substitute 0 in this function, it has to provide the probability value of 1 by 8. If you substitute 1 in this function, it has to provide the probability value of 3 by 8. 2, 3 by 8, 3, 1 by 8. This is, these are the values which you have to obtain. So for f of x, f of x is providing probability, discrete probability function or we call it as a probability mass function now coming to the concept of cumulative distribution function the name itself says that cumulative means adding the previous values that is what cumulative means one next value add with it next value add with it next value add that is what cumulative means cumulative distribution function see probability mass function is given by small f of x Cumulative distribution function is provided by capital F of x. It is given by, so capital F of x of discrete random variable x is given by f of x is equal to probability of x less than or equal to small x. So why less than or equal to small x? Cumulative means previous values should be added. Means if you want the variable f of 1, in our example, if you want to calculate the cumulative distribution function for the value 1, what is cumulative distribution function, uh, cumulative distribution function value for 1? So previously what are the values are there? 0 is there and up to 1, 1 is there. So we have to add all the probabilities. 0, what is the probability? 1 by 8. 1, what is the probability? 3 by 8 uh, means 4 by 8 is our cumulative distribution function value means f of 1 should be 4 by 8 f of 2 should be 1 by 8 plus 3 by 8 plus 3 by 8 what is the value 7 by 8 that is what cumulative distribution function means so it is given like this cumulative distribution is given f of x is equal to probability of x less than or equal to x means we have to add all the values before x up to x x is 1, x is 0, x is 2, x is 3, small x is uh, that is given as uh, sigma xi less than or equal to x means take all the values before x and equal to x. Same f of xi, small f of xi means probability mass function. So this is the cumulative distribution function for discrete random function discrete probability function or probability mass function the point you have to understand if you know the probability mass function you can easily write the cumulative distribution function this is what sigma xi less than or equal to x f of xi that is what our cumulative distribution function is so this is given as for better understanding they have given as f of x is equal to 0 minus infinity to x less than x1 so you have to understand this point why they have mentioned minus infinity less than x less than x1 assume that x1 is our first data random variable value what is the random variable here first random variable 0 before 0 what is the probability mass function for f of x what is the value it has to provide 0 probability value before this random variable is 0 probability value after this random variable should be 0 
for these values we are getting the probability values 1 by 8 3 by 8 3 by 8 1 by 8 so that's why our first point is x1 before that minus infinity to x up to less than x1 what is the probability value cumulative distribution function value 0 from x1 less than or equal to x less than x2 means this is x1 point this is x2 point 0 less than or equal to up to uh, less than 1 means 0 to less than 1 what is the probability value 1 by 8 so that's why it is given as a x1 less than or equal to x less than x2 what is the value f of x1 similarly x2 less than or equal to x less than x3 third point is given as f of x1 plus f of x2 cumulative values this is how it is written xn less than or equal to x less than infinite f of x1 plus f of x2 plus f of so on f of xn after that cdf value is this is the value anyhow we will take an example for the same example we will uh, we'll explain it below so for better understanding so this is the general equation for cumulative distribution function for discrete probability function or probability mass function now coming to the so we will do an example three tosses x is equal to xi 0 1 2 3 f of xi is provided by probability of x equal to xi 1 by 8 3 by 8 3 by 8 1 by 8 so f of x is equal to if so what's the, what you have to understand if f of xi is provided means probability mass function is provided how we write the cumulative distribution function uh, capital f of x 0 cumulative distribution function value is 0 if x less than 0 because less than 0 we don't have values f of x is equal to 1 by 8 if 0 less than or equal to x less than 1 up to here less than 1 less than 1 what is the value 1 by 8 okay x f of x cumulative distribution function for value is 4 by 8 if 1 less than or equal to x less than 2 less than 2 these two should be added what is that 4 by 8 that is what cumulative distribution function for less than 2 similarly 7 by 8 2 less than or equal to x less than 3 less than 3 what is the value cumulative distribution function value 1 by 8 plus 3 by 8 plus 3 by 8 what is 7 by 8 similarly 3 less than or equal to x less than infinite positive infinite what is the value 8 by 8 which is 1 summation of all these probabilities should be 1 this point we already discussed in our previous class in the probability mass function last class that's why finally 8 by 8 is 1 this is how we convert our given probability mass function into cumulative distribution function similarly if cumulative distribution function is given we can convert that into probability mass function we'll do one example cdf cumulative distribution function to probability mass function example f of x they have given cumulative distribution function is 0 for x less than minus 2 means below before minus 2 what is the value probability value is 0 means we don't have any point before minus 2 so what's our cumulative distribution second value is saying 0.2 our distribution our uh, cumulative distribution function value is 0.2 for minus 2 less than or equal to x less than 0 means less than 0 what is the probability value 0.2 so that's why we have taken the point our first point f of x1 is equal to f of minus 2 that is equal to 0 0.2 so, so this is the cumulative distribution function value see 0 0.2 0 0.7 finally we are getting 1 if you keeps on adding the probability what is the maximum probability you will get 1 you cannot go beyond that sum of all the values should be 1 this is what cumulative distribution function from this cumulative distribution function we are going to identify the probability mass function that's why f of x1 what's our first data point f of minus 2 that is 0 0.2 what's our second this next one 0 0.7 0 less than or equal to x less than 2 before 2 
what is the probability uh, cumulative distribution function value 0.7 so before that how many points are there two points f of x1 plus f of x2 what are those two points f of minus 2 already we identified minus 2 from this plus f of 0 is our next point f of 0 is equal to 0.7 we already know f of minus 2 is 0.2 so if you substitute 0 0.2 here f of 0 is equal to 0.7 minus 0.2 f of 0 is equal to 0.5 similarly 1 2 less than or equal to x below up to 2 what is the probability value cumulative distribution function value 1 means uh, the point is f of 2 f of x1 plus f of x2 plus f of x3 is equal to f of x1 means first point is minus 2 what is second point is 0 what is third point is 2 equal to 1 we already know f of minus 2 f of 0 so you subtract uh, minus it f of 2 is equal to 1 minus 0.7 f of minus 2 plus f of 0 is 0.7 it is already provided cumulative distribution function up to 2 less than 2 0.7 so f of 2 is equal to 0.3 this is how we will get the probability mass function finally from the cumulative distribution function we got the probability mass function f of x is equal to if x is equal to minus 2 0.2 if uh, x is equal to 0 f of x is 0.5 if x is equal to 2 f of x is 0.3 this is how we will get a probability mass function given cumulative distribution function for discrete probability functions so you have to understand if probability mass function is provided you can convert it into cumulative distribution function if cumulative distribution function is provided you can convert it into probability mass function this is the point you have to understand for that we have shown an example that's it hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you